I'm excited about um I think I'm gonna be working with uh Century Age of Ashes in early December, which is launching a um multiplayer dogfighting dragon game, which I played a little bit of the beta of and it was super super cool looking and slick. And uh they reached out to me. Um we haven't signed a contract or anything, so it's not hundred percent yet, but uh we might be doing a launch stream or a near launch stream for them showing off that game and it's gonna be sponsored oh lovely 39 i like that resub that is a nice resub hey joe what's going on thanks for the 39 i hope you guys are doing awesome um and like they they not only reached Don't out to me <laughs> they not only reached out to me that they, they wanted to sponsor like right away like i didn't have to go to them so when that happens it really helps out a lot and and then folks can get the promotion that they want you know All right, anyway. Sorry if you're watching this on YouTube. I'm talking a lot to my audience tonight. But not sorry also. Come and watch live. Yes. All right, dressed? Oh, you mean the hermit. I, I toss a few gill when we need an extra pair of hands. He doesn't talk about himself, and I sure as hell's own ask. What a man's got scars on his face like that. You best leave well alone, I say. If you mind to find him, though, then head southwest to the Severed Stream. Oh my god. Come on now. You can't get over that weird pink skirt? Mine? It matches so good, doesn't it? I'm sad that Ruin King isn't on Humble. How am I supposed to support my content creator? If you really, if that's your top priority, Narian, it is on the Epic Game Store. And anything on the Epic Game Store, you can use the creator code Bog Otter. And uh, it helps us out. I know not everybody likes the Epic Game Store, so go with your preferred platform first of course but yeah yeah and Hextech Mayhem uh, is also out on Epic which is the other uh, Riot Games published game that they released uh, by surprise yesterday I might check that out tomorrow on stream we'll see maybe we'll save Ruin King for the Bogathon Will be a link during the stream. If so, I will get it then. For um, which one? The Century Age of Ashes. I'm doing two sponsor streams at the end of November and early December. I'm going to be doing uh, Evil Genius 2 and uh, Century Age of Ashes. I will have tracking links when, when I do those streams. So it'd be awesome if you guys can uh, help hit those links up and show the sponsors that our community is... Uh, is a good one and uh we should get more of those kind of deals oh the ruined king i don't have um uh i'm not i'm not gonna be sponsored to stream the ruined king they sent me a copy of the game so we'll thank them for that uh during the game but yeah and you could just if you wanted to support for the ruined king that's on the epic game store yeah all right, so where is this person? Are they underneath? And thanks for asking, gang. Where is this person? Oh, that's Naka. <laughs> I was like, is this it? Is this the person? <laughs> How funny. I was like, that's gotta be the person. No, that's not the person. Oh, you can go in here. I thought I, I could have sworn I, I pushed on the door. Maybe I was clicking on it. That was funny. You'll get it from Epic Game. Thank you, Morgan. I appreciate that. Do we know if Ruin King will be on Game Pass? I I have not I have not heard Kage. 
That was fantastic. All right, dressed. What? What do you want? Here, I want this. Wine? I, I, I didn't ask for this. Who sent you? I, I, uh. Where do you put the code on in Epic Games when you're checking out? There should be a creator tag. I think it says creator tag. And just put bog otter all one word. And that's for any game on the Epic Games Store. Anytime that you buy anything from there. You can throw that on, it helps. It also works in games like um, uh, Dauntless um, or like Fortnite if you buy anything from their shops. You can also use the creator code there. Yeah. I don't, the capital doesn't matter. It'll, there'll be like a drop down or something as you're typing it out. Yeah, but, but it doesn't matter if it's caps or not. You were there first, Pinky Love? I didn't even see you. You were stealth. Thank you. Aww. I've got cucumbers, raspberries, peppers, and uh, like a seeded cranberry bread for lunch. What are you guys having for lunch? Oh, you were on top of the treehouse? Really? Are you still there? Oh, I don't even know how far up you are. I still don't see you. Or maybe you fell down or you went down already. You had boneless wings, Cortana? Ooh. You're having leftover Mediterranean pizza and Caesar salad? Techno new? Nice, rabbit. Lunchable in a juice box? Can't sleep. They won't let me sleep. The midges, the buzzing, it keeps me awake. I'm not, I, I never wanted to hurt anyone. I won't fight. I, I don't want to fight. Please make the buzzing stop. Make the midges go away. Slay dung midges. Ew, I would not do this. I am the hero who slayed the mighty Afrit. I do not slay dung midges. There's no way using a spear would be able to thwart them. That's if these swarms were like the uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous ones. Thunder Walrus, you're having a taco salad? That sounds delicious. Enjoy it. Thorny Subject's having refried beans, kale, shiitake shrooms, and peanut butter. I can't support you on the shrooms, but everything else. There's two. I mean to join the fate. Don't fight me. Just fighting this 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 poo fly. Leave me alone. I'm just here for the poo flies. I need more. Fate music is a little tense, isn't it? Isn't it? There's number four. I didn't finish my second cup of coffee yet. 
Can't have lunch. I think after we turn this in, I'm gonna take a quick break. And I'll eat my lunch. I want to thank everybody for being here today. 67. You've stayed a while and listened. You have stayed a while and listened. Thank you having a good day, Bog. Did you ever watch G4 TV years ago? I did. And did you watch the relaunch last night? I did not. I I did watch a lot of G4 um, in the old days. It was like the only like gaming content you could like really get your hands on. Um, I liked it. Uh, I did not see the reboot. I have heard about it. Um, what did you think? Was it good? There's Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary's level 50. Thanks so much for the reset. Oscar Town wants grape juice now. It's not so loud anymore. Did you do that? Thank you. You you helped me. Even after what my comrades and I did to your country. We were on a reconnaissance mission when the Maelstrom caught us by surprise. We tried to escape, but the others, no, no one else survived. I, I didn't ask for this, damn it. I, I'm not even Garlean. They conquered my land just like they tried to conquer yours. I, I, I don't want to die in some blasted jungle halfway around the world. I, I just, I just want to go home. I got both of those. I, I just wish to thank Shimani for the wine. That was overly kind. Would you be willing to bear a gift back to him? Last night at Red Mantis Falls, I collected the sap from nearby palm trees. If if, if, if placed in coconut shells and stored for a few bells time, it makes for a fine wine. See, I, it should be ready by now. I left three shells out there. Please take them back to Shimani for me. Is this going to be the secret wine? No, it's palm wine. Where's the palm wine out here? I said I was going to go, uh... Take a break. Isn't Adam Sessler permanently retired? He's part of the G4 relaunch. They got all the old folks back. Yeah, I saw, like, Blair Herder tweeting about it. You know, he was one of the originals. You don't know why dress stories always stuck with you? Because it makes you realize that even though you, like, Garlands are bad, Garlands are evil, you realize, all right, they've done this to other people and just conscripted their forces and they've had no choice, you know? Not all the old folks, yeah, but a lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah, people change, Rabbit. People change. They may say one thing and then, you know, five, ten years go by and, you know, your perspective changes on things. I've actually made that a point pretty much my whole life to never really say never. I learned at an early age. Like, I, I, I swore off... You know, I would make these proclamations when I was a teenager, late teens. Like, even into my early college years, I'd be say, oh, I'm never going to do this or never going to do that. You know, and then situations change. So I just stopped saying never. <laughs> you never know. You never know. That's true. You industries change too. So maybe part of it was industry related. Yeah, and it might just be a better time. You know, it... A lot of stuff feels good to go back and do, you know? A lot of nostalgia going around. And, uh... I hope they get supported and I hope it does really well. Ahem. <clears throat> 
How you guys doing? You forgot there was a Warcraft movie? It wasn't too bad either. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but I liked it. That was one, that might have, I don't know if it's our first movie, but it was one of the first movies Azaria and I ever saw, saw together. Shivani Lomani says, it's been some time, Bog. What news do you have of Dressed? We got palm wine. Oh, yes, I recall it did have some knowledge of winemaking, a simplistic but nevertheless effective me method that utilizes the natural properties of palm sap. I shall have to enjoy this batch before it spoils. We are not so different, Dressed and I, two men who have long struggled not to let our scars define us. I wonder that he has been alone with his thoughts for so long. It's past time I paid him a visit. Oh, they're going to get back together. Or make amends, I should say. I know you're eager to wash your hands in this business, but I just discovered something extraordinary about the palm wine. He sealed each coconut shell with a leaf. A leaf with ha which has a very distinct shape and unusual odor. I thought I was going mad at first, but now I'm certain these are the leaves of a Bacchus grapevine. Do you know what this means? Somewhere in the Raincatcher Gully, the legendary vine still grows. If we could, could obtain a cutting, we would revive Bacchus wine industry. All right. Show the Bacchus leaf the dressed. Where did you get this? We will say. Wow, we're going back and forth between this over and over and over again. I got all my friends though. Naka. And Drakar Rathmore. And ooh, 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 ooh. Pinky Fluff. Let's go together, friends. And it's raining. I brought the rain. Excuse me. Ow. It's not nice. Yomi is lurking too? What's a Yomi? A Yomi is a Danimal? Is a Danimal Cracker in our midst? The Yomi? I don't know. You guys are speaking a different language to me. You're Drakkar Rathmore. Okay, Joe. Gotcha. All right. Dressed. Hello. What is it? This. Where did you find this? It's just the leaf, isn't it? I only chose it because it was pretty. Ah, oh, I didn't know it was rare. I found them near the Juggernaut to the south, but I didn't see any grapevines. I saw fresh Gubu tracks, though. Oh, my God. This is the quest line that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some developer thought of it and thought it would be fun. Now we're running around forever just because of that one developer. You're not sure this bird runs any faster than you do? That's true. Destination. Hey, let me have another one spawn. Let me make this harder for everybody. Yeah. He did. Oh, good. I got a Bacchus cutting. Sweet. He did a moldy sneeze. I'm glad I missed that. If 
Look, they're jungle curls. Better or worse than moldy cheese? Moldy cheese or moldy sneeze? What's worse? I'm gonna go with sneeze is worse. Sneeze is worse. As somebody who's germaphobic, sneezes are the worst. Snot is always worse. There are few things worse than snot, that's true. Few things. All right, here we go. Now make your wine and go get addicted to this euphoric feeling. Guess what? It's never going to feel as good as the first time and you're going to need more and more of it. Aha, I was right. The smell, the texture I hold in my hands, a Bacchus grapevine cutting. Is that a Bacchus grapevine cutting? Come now, enough of this nonsense. I've heard talk of your discovery, and I refuse to believe that a common adventurer and a novice vinter could... Oh, 12 is my witness. It is a Bacchus grapevine. Wherever did you find this fantastic specimen? Get away. What? You would offer this to me? But why? Well, yeah, don't do that. We're going we're gonna to make all the money ourselves. There is none better position to reconstruct the Bacchus Vineyards than you, Master Bilgerlin. You have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion. All right. You got to get yourself some passion. There we go. We gave it to him. You should put it in writing that you're going to get a lifetime supply for free. He has made us an offer we can't refuse. You forever changed wine port. port. See? I was the slayer of the Ifrit, and I am the changer of wine port. Now, will you finally give me the secret? Yes. Calling, but there's no real appropriate contact information. Yes. Uh, besides email. So I sent you an email, and if I don't get anything back by Friday, I'm going to call them. Yeah, it's hard to. I know. There's I know. nobody at the theater until there's a performance, really. I and know. at that point, they're usually too busy. Well, I was trying to see if I could get through to even to sales. Yeah. Like, even though I was trying to buy a ticket, like maybe they'd have a general idea. I know, I but maybe we should waste time and just start trying to schedule an appointment for them because we're going to run out of time and okay, all right well i sent an email um we'll start looking because we have to give it in next week i know um, but it's a short week and things are going to be closed all right and then it's really the next week after that so i'm just getting nervous all right all right i'll figure that out okay is there anything i can get you before you uh no thanks start your next quest? no all right. good thanks no problem Your prolonged absence was beginning to concern me. So what of the wine I asked you to bring? Here. Here's your Bacchus wine. Is that Seven Hells, a 1547 Bacchus? Even I know how rare that is. I have to admit, I didn't think you had it in you. Congratulations. I hope our guests appreciate it. Speaking of which, your associate arrived a while ago. She appears to be growing impatient. Perhaps you could tell her the banquet is about to begin. Are we going to the banquet? I got a Gubu Sproutling. I got a minion for that quest. What? You gave me a mignon? What is this? I didn't register my mignon. I got the new mignon. It's a filet mignon? Sorry. I got a goo boo. That's pretty good. Ishtola. You 
can tell is concern for your well-being. Why is it like like? What is the what what is going on in this quest? <laughs> you have the look of a man who has been to Seventh Hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a banquet held in his own honor, and this while the shadow of Titan looms over all us, it beggars belief. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ignominy, I fear I would have ex not accepted my lot with less grace, or would have accepted my lot with less grace. Great, you picked the rainy day to help me relax. Why'd you bring me here out in the rain? Lady Ishtala, Sir Arthur. And he jumped on my spear. Oh. That was quite an entrance. Gejeruju? What? I don't know how to say this guy's name. Gejeruju. A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, sir. Had I known, I would never have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Oh, this is when you find out it wasn't supposed to happen. You didn't have to do all that stuff, and it was all a big joke. Come now. He must have sensed something was amiss. No, I didn't. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eorzea for a banquet, did you? Spare him your mockery, Captain. Your intent was clear to me until this moment. And unlike me, Bond has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you would be so good as to enlighten him. This is all a ruse? This is all a ruse! Aye, aye, that's fair. There's no sense hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath that any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be godslayers by his own criteria. If ever one found him wanting, he would be rejected without a second thought. But if he proved himself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support his cause. Oh my god. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all f too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have had no hope to victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deign to test Bond with such commendable thoroughness? Time well spent, I'm sure, but tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? He's a brave one, that much is certain. He, is will he willingly walked into the midst of danger despite my repeated warnings that it could cost him his life. His skill is undeniable. He stalked his prey as relentless as any child in the sands and stuck with precision and opportunity present itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Bog, however, is a kind and generous soul. I am certain he has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at his side. Psst, skull. Wily Uplander is talent, planes, plans maker, tricksy foe for mighty rock man. I can concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five of the Company of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, Bogotter, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea! <coughs> There we go. Let's go fight our second Titan. Or second, uh, big thing. Whatever they're called. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. I love, love, love That's raining. For today, we celebrate the birth of a new legend, Bog Otter, Titan's Bane. Bog Otter, Titan's Bane.
Yes, Titus. What are they called again? Primals. Primals. That's what that's the word I'm grumping for. Primals. Speak with the bronze skinned beauty? That's why this was part of the quest. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. Partake of the feast. I will partake. Nodding, yes, nodding. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. <laughs> mm -mm. You don't want to see my character eat. He's, he's a messy eater. Taste of the exotic feast triggers a divine revelation. Wow. In that brief transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. Wow! That's pretty good. Hmm. In the next moment, I was sad and depressed and couldn't get off the couch. All right, speak with the former members of the Company of Heroes. So a fast food level meal, yes. When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa Laminsa, Eorzea, or anything beyond this chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. Goody Uplander must be facing mighty Rockman with clever fighty think. Gobby Flock cannot be coming to the rescue this time. All right. <laughs> He's just staring at the dancers. Ah, Bog, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you will look him in the eye and send Landonel re his regards. No. Tell him to send... I'm Landonel. You send regards to them from me. Yes. Got it. I won't mess that up, I promise. You are a veteran of countless battles, Bog, but this one... This is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. You are blessed with a fortitude to rival the Earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. Ishtala! How can you not say her name like Rikola? You are too kind to indulge them, Bog. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. I, know, I cannot believe it is pouring rain during this entire thing. This, this would ruin this entire thing. Though they have been all pronounced the victor, the battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. All right. They're great. Good to see my character saying that. Mount speed in Eastern Lanasia has increased. Damn right it has. It's Lanasia, it's gonna rain. Ruin my vacation. You must be eager to face Titan. Yes, finally! As promised, we will show you the way. They had a big feast for me here, look. Oh, that's awesome. But look, it's pouring. It's pouring. It's Isn't that bad, great? bad timing. Yeah. We're going to travel to Bronze Lake in Upper Lanasia. Meet with Ryle, another man who once served with the company. To ensure that his knowledge does not fall in the wrong hands, he will remain hiding until you have given the correct signal. Give me your map. You must whistle loudly at three locations. Whistle loudly at three locations. Okay. So how would one get there? Well, I guess I...
I guess the best thing I could do... Oh, I could just go right there. All right, let's get out of here. It's like a coastal holiday in the UK, Morgan. Oh, man. I've taken trips to Florida, you know, on vacation. And it spent the majority of the time raining. It's always fun, right? All right, so what am I trying to do? Right now I'm here. I'm, so I have to take the ferry again? No, I should be able to go to right to Wineport. Let's just do that. And then we can skedaddle up here. One more level, gang. We're almost there. And then we get our AoE ability. I can't wait for that. What level's my quest? 33. So I'm still lagging behind. I'm still six levels ahead of my main story. Dun, 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 bum, bum. Oh, damn. It'll catch up eventually. Yeah, no, I get it. You know, I've run a couple extra dungeons. I've done some extra fates. So... It makes sense. What are these things? Oh god. Creepy. Alright, so it's an aetherite up there. How do I get up there? as well. There's a weird jump in uh, main story quest from 46 to 49.50. You should be ahead of, which is good. Oh, okay. Got it. There we go. I leveled up. I didn't get it automatically, right? So it's probably going to be something I have to do my Unfading Skies quest. Level 40. And, uh... Realm Royale ends at... Realm Royale. I keep saying that. Realm Reborn, um... Is 50 or 60? Fifty. But then there's post leveling content. A lot of that, right? Fifty, but you'll be fifty two ish when you get to Heaven's Ward. Okay. Got it. How do they make how do they make you stop like leveling a ton though? Because, like, the original people would, um, would be level 50 for all of that, right? And not because this, it was capped then. Or if you're, like, you 62, you got lost in the side content for a while? Gotcha. The patch quests give, like, no XP. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So you kind of just sit there. I think that makes sense.
Look at all them up there. What level can I fly? Fifty. Oh, nice. Greetings, mate. Might you be the one who Captain said it would come calling? Oh, aye, yeah, I thought so. Pay attention now, because I ain't explaining myself twice. Right when you finish the main story, you can? Oh, nice. Before the patches? Oh, so I'm not that far. Well, ten levels. Well, no. More than ten levels. I'm I'm 40 out of 50, but my story level is a lot lower. Never mind. I'm not as close as I thought. Um... Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across the Beastman Aetherite Sea. Uh -huh. What's to look for? Not familiar with them? He speaks of an unamplified Aetherite, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such Aetherites and those which you have used countless occasions, Pog. Ah, well, if it ain't the Charlayan lass, welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting. I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. The tunnels beneath Ogomoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the company of heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ha! Ah, give us a bit of credit, love. We weren't daft enough to go trying, uh, going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling them with old ones with traps. One wrong step, and the next thing you know, you've got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around. And that got us thinking. I mean, Umgamaro mines are like a bleeding city, aren't they? And getting around in a city that big would be a pain in the arse if you didn't have the Aethernet, wouldn't it? So, it stood to reason the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm, even if there were Aetherite shards in the depths of Ogomaru, you would have to uh, attune yourselves to them before you can identify their signatures with a live stream. Of course! Ah, oh, well, that's where you're wrong, love. We had the Charlayan bloke to help us, see? Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. I don't rightly know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlayan scholar worth her assault couldn't manage. Damn. Did he now? Huh. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites in question happen to be... Ah, yes. But in order to guide a traveler to set beacon safely, a second party would be required to... Hmm. It is possible, in theory at least, yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Hey, Arizona Coyote, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Are these characters from 1.0? Do you do their attack on Titan on 1.0? I don't know. I mean, I haven't... I'm still doing the leveling content. I don't know. She's worth her salt and pepper. Oh, you are last. Don't you worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. And don't go to Zelma's Run and take a closer look at that Aetherite. Oh, why don't we all go to Zelma's Run? That's completely different. It ain't far. All right, let's do it. Right after I get back from doing my Dragoon quest. All right, examine the Beastman's Aetherite. Not right now, I don't. We're going to go do Unfaded Skies. You got baited? You logged in for Titan? Oh, is that a group thingy? I want to do this first. Oh, don't I get my... Oh, I'm not even going to be able to use the AoE. Right? They're going to down-level me. It's a trial. Thanks, Hate Wheel. Welcome to the stream. All right, should I go do that first then? That's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get downscaled anyway. So 
So I'm not gonna be able to use my AoE. All right, so how many, how many people uh, do we need? You want to get in this time, Pinky? You don't need AOE for Titus anyway? Okay. Yeah. Hold on, Naka. I gotta... I owe some spots. says I couldn't cheer and offer words of encouragement in the last one. I had to leave to get my flu shot. I'm here now though. Welcome, Arrowwolf. Yeah. I know. How dare you yeet me, Naka? What's going on? All right. So where do I need to go for this? All right, and Naka, you want to join us? I'll be number four. All right. So it should be right up this way. Mamu lost. Mamul Ja Sophist. Zoma's run is creepy. Oh, that's somebody. I was like, that's a crazy monster. All right, so here's the Beast Man Aetherite. Examining. How funny I was contained. So this is the Aetherite the Company of Heroes used to gain access to Titan Sanctuary. Hmm. It is as Papa Lima speculated. In its present state, this Aetherite signal will not be enough, strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you'll have to proceed without me, Bog. I must needs. Everybody drink. I must needs remain here and supplement this beacon's power, lest you be denied your only path of escape. A yeetable is when you throw your veggies. Ha ha ha. Fear not. I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby us to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do, you'll be on your own. All right. Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. I like how she got so offended by that. I have located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. H. Duty Finder has been updated with regular duty. Regular duties. 
That's a high-end duty and a regular duty. Those are the best names ever. All right, so how do I do this again? Or am I not ready? Use Dungeon Finder to confront the Titan in the navel. <laughs> um, duty, duty finder. I clear brave locks. Okay. Oh, and now I can swap around. Those are dungeons. Trials. The navel. Click the navel. Here we go. Join. Commence. We're going to confront his navel. No, we're cleaning his, cleansing his navel. No, I don't think that's right either. Oh, Fox is not there. I don't know where Fox is. Uh oh. There we go. Is he back? Okay. You were doing triple try ahead. Ah, nice. Oh, look at this place. Molten core. Look, an overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. He uses our aetherites against us. We hate him. He burns us, precious. He has defiled Titan sacred sanctuary. Trespass violated, defiled. Overdwellers must leave. Overdwellers must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear him not. His fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear me, Overdweller! You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for breaking the covenant. You shall be first to face judgment. The Lim Solomon and her Oathbreakers, liars, betrayers, Oathbreakers! Oh, great. Father! Lord of Crags! Titan, we summon you! Titan, we summon you! It was a rock lobster. Rock lobster. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, God. He's a giant raisin. He has come. He has come. The Lord of Crags Titan has come. Overdweller art thou deaf to the weeping. Vile crime covereth ever blessing of the land, and life murdereth my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. I am not the first to suffer thy defiance, thou just bring a free flow. So he's void of me. Godless overdweller the myriad, heresies shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I rake a terrible vengeance. Wow. All right, let's go. Each time your party is defeated after having battled enemies. One or more party members are new to this duty. That's me. Kill the heart if he has one. Okay, what if he has no heart? All right, Titan, look out. Oh boy. Ow! I got Geo crushed. Wow, that was close. I need to heal. <laughs> Thanks for the heals. <laughs> I didn't know where to go. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was the major duty, yeah. Can you stun him? No, not really. Oh no. Now it's inside, not the outside. Alright, it only took a little damage. Oh 
Oh, where's the heart? He trapped me. Where am I? I'm in stone. I'm in the stone. What happened? Naka Windows decided that you don't need your game in focus. Oh no, how funny. Okay. So just for future, if I get trapped in this, what do I do? I don't know how to get out of this. The others have to break you out. Okay, so how do I, what do I do? Oh, it just killed me. All right, try again. First try, here we go. combo there's his heart right Titan's heart is shattered. Okay. Phase two, same as the first. Love the music in this. This is great. They should have, the little kobolds should have chanted like they did in uh, Galaxy Quest when they summoned the, the rock. What's the word that they chant? It's like, it's a Grig knock, but they, what do they, they chant something though, yeah. All the primal music's great. For some reason, I don't remember um, the Efreet music. But I probably said it was great then, too. It's just my memory. Is it just rock, rock, rock? That's after they translated it. Lord of Crags, Great Father Titan has fallen. That's right. Now I'm going to be even more popular. Oh, another crystal. Nice. Give it to me. See, everybody thinks I'm a good guy just doing all these nice things and being patient with everybody, but I'm secretly co collecting the infinity stones so I can wear the gauntlet. Four. I got four. Crimes of the Overdweller shall never be forgiven. Never be forgotten. No, never. 
Twas your kin who broke the covenant. We acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression, or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths, we shall defy you. Deny, decry, defy. They're pissed. The great Titus is gone. That's right. Nero. Now, these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I have seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure that is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not know its true capabilities. Then trust in mine, Riotin. My curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have best in Titan in the blink of an eye. Why, if there be truth to the legends, it could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea given but a little while longer. Is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may be true. While such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will have a little faith, my friend. I cannot endorse this course of action. Really? Fool. And now he has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bearer. Far though you have come, your work is far from done. I, Laha Bread, will best you in the end. And not remain to mock his passing. Well, the Asians are nothing if not elusive. It is of little wonder that they should cast advanced teleportation magics at will. But they would choose to consort with the Empire. What common goal could they possibly share? I don't know. Wealth, power, corruption, domination. Yeah. Hi. I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well in hand. I have taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow Anon. There is something I must investigate before I depart. I will teleport you to the Aetherite in Zelma's Run, and we will rendezvous at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed? No. I mean, yes. There we go. Level 50 Laha Bread is your favorite? Yay, we did it! Thank you guys for helping. Is there treasure? You guys stole all the treasure walls and cutscenes, right? There we go. Indigo Star. What does that mean? It's just a toy. Oh. That's right. Bloop. Do other people see it? I think so. Look, they're doing mom back. So look, mom back. Come back this way. Mom back. Mom I was ba so confused. I'm like, I'm like, what the hell is a mom back? Mom back. People, what's up? I don't understand. Those are mom backs. I get it. That's good. Mom back. Thank you guys for helping. Who's that fancy one? What's the for? That's Fox. Oh, that's a fancy sword Fox has. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to become a tank someday. Yeah, that's pretty fancy, not gonna lie. So you can ta you're, you can tank in this game and look like, like a death knight, or you can tank and look like a little turtle. Mughal Tart has a turtle outfit. Can you show them your turtle outfit? Your tanking frog. outfit? This is this is how Mugletar tanked our dungeon last the other night. It was a frog. What am I saying it is? You're saying it's a it's, frog. It's a frog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a frog. You're a little frog. It's a frog. And that's also not, uh, that's not Mugletar. That's, that's, uh, that's Pygmy Fluffy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was so confused. Wait, okay. I, I got, I got totally confused by those. The little. What are they? Lollafell. The little Lollafells are so confusing. <laughs> I think that mom back's getting back to you. Uh, oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Literally, I'm crying. You totally I'm believe crying. me? They're so small and hard to see. That's right. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just hiding my shame. I'm hiding my shame. Oh my god. All potatoes look the same. Exactly. Look, she's mad. That's really cute. Come on, does this does this look like a character that pays attention to anything else that's going like below this height? I don't think so. I'm on lunch for no worries, Mugatar. I thought I, I was totally confused by Lala Fells. I was. That was I was. So funny. Sorry, Pinky Fluff. That was great. Thank you guys for helping. Oh my god. Not only did you call her a turtle. I called it a turtle, and then I was good. Yeah, it was a bad moment for me. It made me feel way old. Yeah, I I feel older now. I realize I'm losing it more and more. And there's witnesses. To my decline. All right. Um, you did that. What'd you say? Do you know why you said that? No. Last night, yeah. when Mugletar joined our party to help me get through that dungeon. Yeah. I said, I like frogs. And, and then, then I said, I like turtles. And then all of a sudden it goes silent, and I hear from him, I like turtles. It's true. So I think. I think I put turtle in my brain. You put. I and I conflated it them. It was there. You, you, actually, you know what it was? Right before I said that comment, I was thinking in my head. That it's so cool that Fox can look like a death knight in tank. And yesterday, we had Mugletart being some cute little animal. And in my head, I went, it was a turtle because it tanks. Ah, and I was like, okay. I'm like, that's actually pretty smart because it has like a shell. I get it. And it's a turtle tank. And then I'm like, no, it was totally wrong because it's frog. Yeah. Fox says, I'm heading off, preparing for my holiday tomorrow now. Have fun. All right, take care. Thank you so much for sponsoring the stream. Have a wonderful holiday tomorrow. Yeah. If I don't see you, uh, I'll be off next week. But uh, we have a Bogathon coming up on Friday. Thank you, Arrowwolf. Yeah, it's just an outfit. I know. I know. I know. There's oh, my new man. little mini pet. That was so good. Ew, they give you one of those? They give me one of those. I don't like that thing. I, love I don't like cool. how it follows you with a... <laughs> <laughs> That's what wow. Physicic does when I go to make coffee at night. Comes in and rubs on my legs, oh looking my like God. that. You know what he does. He knows when I'm making coffee at night, he's gonna get treats. He knows. It's, it's funny you. as hell. There you go. Ishtala! Turtle is an option. Oh, yeah? Hey, Chab Zap, what's up? I'm relieved to see you well, but come, let us discuss your next step. Yes. Let's. Oh my God, here she is. Look at this tank. That is the best tank going. She wants to fight me too. It's so good. Wait, Moogle's heart. Could you put on that, that, that gorilla mount too, please? Please, a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. I got my sword and my shield and I'm ready to tank. <laughs> oh my God. That is the best mount. Look at that mount. <gasps> That's so good. It flies. Yep. She waves! I can't. Look at the koala bear holding the turtle. <laughs> For a second, I really just panicked. I panicked. Oh, I love it. I really love it. Oh, that's great. Yesterday, I kid you not, Moogle Tart, when I saw it, I clapped my hands and like screamed into Bob's ears. <laughs> this little thing is cute too. Oh my goodness. What is that? How funny is that? It's inspired from Chrono Trigger, is it really? Is it? Oh, okay. Okay, that's awesome. All right. This was funny as hell. 
Morgan, how do how I get, do I the, get worm? the worm mount? Where's the worm? She had, uh, Naka, I think, had it. Really? Can I see it one more time? Was that Naka's? Great serpent mount. Or is there something else happening? Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, stop it! That's so cute! That's adorable. Love it! <laughs> Wait, what's, is that a little mini pet? Which one? The one that's behind Naka. This here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. I was going to say, that's really cute, too. I thought it was a, little, a tiny Lala fell. That's my Dragoon, like, rival or something, oh, right? Oh, is I, it? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I say the name wrong over and over and over again, but it's Estinian. 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 Yeah. Do you see why I have, like, that on my button here? Because I, whenever I want to zoom yeah. in. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Like so much See, easier. like Naka looks so badass like that. Like she looks so totally different from what she was two seconds ago. Yeah, this now she's my my class. That's she's insane. a dragoon. That is insane. Yeah. I love. Look, that. I look just like her. Oh, just like. Her. I look just Wait, as cool. Mogultar just changed too. Is Mogultar dragoon? Yep. Stop it. <laughs> wait, <What>? wait. Wait. <laughs> That was just timed, right? You guys, how did you time that? Wait. Wait, was that an accident? That was hilarious. Did Naka get yeeted on purpose? I don't think so. I think that was just, you guys have to clip that. That was the best timing. It looks like, it looked like Moogle Tart knocked, not, uh, you yeeted yourself at the I exact don't... time that she swung her spear around. It looked like she went flying. That it was, was perfect. Fantastic. That was really I swear you gotta clip that. That was unbelievable. Yeah, when she did that, Naka went flying. Oh my god, that is so good. I can't do anything. All I can do is this. That's what I do. Okay. Anywho. Story. <laughs> it's so easy to get distracted. It's very distracting. All right, through word, though word will already have reached Maelstrom Command Protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Bog. All right. That was their way of saying, you got to go do it. They tried to make it sound honorable. Bye, all my lovely friends.